it's Mama Rose and I, I, I lost all my footage of my cheesecake making, so this is going to have to be part two. Uh, unless I just talk you through part one, do this part one. I'm so mad. Something came up on the phone and I went to get rid of it and boom, I lost it all. So uh, hopefully you'll see the first part of this cheesecake deal. And um, I went ahead, I've got my batter. I just got done moving the camera and showing you the inside of this, how beautiful it looks. But I want to do something a little different with this cheesecake and I just want to add that's a little lemon zest in it. I'm not going to do anything else. Just a little more lemon zest. I'm, I, I could add a little bit of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice, just for a little flavor. Um, I'd like to kind of just bring it to another level. This is my mother's Italian cheesecake, and i got to fix this because it's a little bit... My head is getting caught up. I didn't want to cut my head up. Okay, so I'm so discombobulated because of that. And I, it doesn't call for salt, but you know, I'm just going to put one little pinch of salt in. That's all. Just one little pinch of Celtic salt. So into this, we have one and a half pounds of regatta cheese. We have one half pint of sour cream. That's eight ounces. We have two eight-ounce bricks of cream cheese, four tablespoons of, I use almond flour, and I also used, I used four tablespoons of the almond flour, and I used two tablespoons of this grass-fed yeast, or I mean whey, I'm not saying yeast for it, but it's a scoop, and it's a two, and it's, I've measured it, it's two tablespoons. And I use this because in a couple recipes that I do, like for pancakes, it uses this as part of the flour, and it's a nice consistency, so I did that. Um, I used all organic everything, I measured every, I weighed everything, and I put it in this bowl, and now we're ready to go in the pan. Oh, I'm so mad that that video cut off. So, what are you going to do? This cheesecake brings back lots of memories for me, though. My dad, my mom always made it for my dad, although she was always on him to lose weight. Too bad she didn't know about this one. He could have eaten almost to his heart's content. Um, but, you know, they didn't know a lot of things in those days. But the sugars, I, I did do a little demo on the one before to kind of talk about the, the sugar, the sugars in this. So I tried to use mostly monk fruit. Uh, stevia makes it a little bitter, so you don't want to, you know, use too much of that. So I try to use a combination of everything. So I'll do a little bit of stevia, a little bit of uh, the monk fruit, or a lot of the monk fruit if I can get it and some erythritol. These these sweeteners that come that say that they're, that is a beautiful consistency. They say that they're uh, stevia, organic stevia, but it's got erythritol. Erythritol is the main thing in it. And then the stevia, same thing here. I just bought a three pound bag of monk fruit. It said monk fruit sweetener. Well, I, get it, I buy it and it's got erythritol in it and monk fruit. This is just plain monk fruit. So if you're going to look for it, look for monk fruit extract. It is not bitter. It is wonderful. It really is. And I've already greased my spring form pan. You can spray it, coconut oil or whatever. I use butter because I couldn't find my spray that I use or don't use spray. I mean, some people are, I don't like to use it, but I do use it. I use a special one, but now I ended up with some of this at the bottom of this, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put my beaters back in and kind of beat this a little bit. The, cre the cream cheese sometimes uh, will get stuck at the bottom of the bowl, and that's exactly what happened. So, oh, look at what a mess I am. Yeah, I'm a messy cook. My kids can tell me. They were my cleanup crew. Now my husband's my cleanup crew. I do clean up a lot myself, though. I don't want you to think I'm a prima donna because I do clean up my own messes, but I do get help. better. Once it cooks, the cream cheese is going to melt. And just a little bit of cream cheese stuck in here. Oh, and I didn't taste the sweetness again. 
Well, you know what? I want it a little sweeter. What can I do?